Friends, welcome to our program for Science Third Prep Stage. Today we have an important lesson. Our information today about what? About Unit 2, Lesson 3. We have today another thing about the type of energy. We have radioactivity and nuclear energy. What's meant by radioactivity? What's meant by nuclear energy? We will see these things today and concentrate with me very, very well. So here we have the first thing, or first of all, we have what? We have the structure of atom. To understand the nuclear energy, this nuclear or the word nuclear that comes out from the nucleus. So nucleus here, it means what? It means a part that found in the center of atom. It is old information, mister. Yes, but we must know these things or we make revision about these things to know the meaning of nuclear energy. Nucleus, it's found in the center of any atom. It contains what? It contains two types of what? Of particles. It contains the green one, for example, it's proton, and the other one in red color, it is neutrons. So here we have what? We have the nucleus. It contains two types of particles, protons and the neutrons, or positive protons and, po uh, and neutral neutrons. So here we have another one, we have electrons. It is very, very small particles that rotate around or evolve around the nucleus here to make what? To make the, the structure of the atom or to complete the structure of atom. It has negative charge. Again, the last time, nucleus, it's found in the center of the atom, any type of atom, of any type of material. So the nucleus, it contains two types of particles. Number one, we have positive protons. Second one, we have neutral neutrons. Electrons, here we have electrons. It is negative charge. Why? Because it makes rotation around the nucleus without what? Without make any attraction with what? With the nucleus because it is very fast around what? Around the nucleus. After that, we have an amazing atomic zoom. What's meant by this? We have a diamond, for example. This diamond, or a piece of graphite, it's one centimeter, a diamond is made of carbon or graphite. It is the same element of graphite in pencils. We have here a part of this diamond. So this diamond, it is a type of material. If I go inside this part of material like this, what will you see under microscope? We have what? We have this one. It's the particles, very small particles that found inside the diamond or a piece of carbon or a piece of, of graphite. It is a diamond in size of the B contains 10,000 million, million, million atoms. It's very, very large number. Yes. Because what? Because the atom is very, very, very small. So here we have what? We have the diamond size. It's a P. It's like the P. A size of P contains 10,000 million, million, million atoms. That's one followed by 22 zeros or like this. Wow. It is very large one. Why? Because the atom, it's what? It is very, very small particle. And it's found in all materials we have. After that, if I go inside the atoms, what will you see? We have another thing. We have what? We have the arrangement of these atoms that move or that appears to us more clearly. We have each carbon atom is bonded to four others from the giant lattice. So makes what? Makes this structure of this atom. This makes diamond very, very hard, for example. And I need to know the things inside one atom. If you move like this, inside one atom, we have what? We have a particles here. These atoms, it contains in electrons that moves around what? Around the center. It is one of the center that found inside the atom that called what? That called nucleus. At the center of an atom, we have nucleus operating or orbiting the nucleus at the edge of this atom of electron they exist in layers called shells shells it means what it means energy levels 
that we studied before in the second prep and first prep. But here we have what? We have the nucleus. I need to know the particles inside the nucleus like this. If you go inside the nucleus after this, after this, we have what we have. The nucleus is made up of protons and the neutrons. And this is tiny compa compared with what? With the atom in whole. Why? Because this is very, very small type of this one. If you move out again to see how the how is the atom is very small so like this the nucleus it's very small like this and we have the atom is very small in what in the arrangement of the lattice and we have another one that atoms or this lattice it's very very small to see it inside the material and this one or this this arrangement and we have a piece of diamond that appears to us it contains many of these things yes how many hundred thousand million 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 anything of these large numbers so here we have the atoms that consists of a nucleus which contains the protons and the neutrons and after that this is electrons and we have energy levels that contains the electrons that rotate or orbiting the nucleus and we have positive protons in red color and the neutral neutrons in black color and we have the blue electrons that move in the energy levels so the nucleus is surrounded by electrons that move in energy level or orbit the nucleus in energy levels so here we have what most of the mass of the atom that concentrated in what concentrated in its nucleus why because the protons and the neutron they contains more more than more mass than what than the electrons Electrons is very very tiny particles. It is ignored in its mass. Why? Because it is very very small one For example, if I have one proton equal what equal 1836 Electrons in its mass. It's very big one. Yes one proton equal 1836 electrons in its mass so the electron is very 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 small one so the most of the mass of the atom it's concentrated in its nucleus and after that we have what we have the nuclear force so here this is the information about the atom to reach this one to reach the nuclear forces are the force which bind neutrons and the protons inside the nucleus to overcome the repulsion between protons and the nucleus again nuclear force it is a type of force that bind the neutrons and the protons to each other together in the nucleus inside the nucleus without moving away from this one so it is overcome the repulsion between protons in the nucleus so here we have what we have the nuclear force that's stored inside the nucleus so i called it nuclear not electron not electric not anything of this nuclear this nuclear it means what it means the force that is stored inside the nucleus that makes the neutrons with each other and the protons with each other that repulsion make repulsion to each other or attraction with each other after that we have another thing here we have what we have the nuclear vision or this nucleus that contains what contains a force and this force it has what in this nucleus we have red color as a proton and we have neutron in green color and here we have one neutron like this this is one neutron that makes what that makes a bump breathing of this nucleus or we crash this one this nucleus by what by the neutron like this we have what we have crashing like this so here stage one for nuclear fission or nuclear energy that produced by what by by what again we have what we have here this is the crashing between the neutron one neutron and one of the nucleus of a radioactive element so here the nuclear vision that occurs the nucleus and the atom must first absorb a neutron or crashed with neutron when the nucleus is split it released the two or three neutrons about its mass 
and we have another three neutron that crash another nucleus of the same type of this matter so it releases the neutrons it can cause what can cause vision occurs what occurs this we have two nucleus here and we have two nucleus here that that produced from this reaction and we have many neutrons like this so here we have the force that produced by this crashing is very very large amount of what of neutrons and protons and and what and we have another thing like this so here we have the crashing of one neutron mix this reaction yes this is a nuclear energy or the product the product of nuclear energy inside what inside the atom by what by crashing or by splitting this nucleus by one neutron so as each vision occurs more occurs more and more neutrons are produced it's the stored energy inside the nucleus and it's more neutrons are produced than the absorbed the chain reaction can get out of control it's very very dangerous type of energy that called nuclear energy after that when the nucleus is bombarded by what or crashed by what by one neutron in the nuclear reactor the nuclear energy released nuclear energy that produced by what produced inside the reactor by bombarding or by crashing with what with one neutron in the or with what with a neutron or with another radioactive element and what's meant by radioactive element we will see after a period of time so the nuclear reactor in the nuclear energy is released this energy is huge and it is used in different purposes here we have a vision inside the reactor this nuclear reactor that contains a core it is very dangerous building it has very high amount of heat energy that reaches more than million degrees and it if this one it has very small mistake in anything in this building it will explode it and make a disaster so the nuclear reactor it is very useful and very dangerous in the same time so the nuclear reactor in the core of the nuclear reactor it is like this this is what this is a part of nuclear reactor that contains uranium what's meant by uranium atom or uranium element it's what it is a type of metals or type of radioactive elements that used to make reactor here we have a part of what a part of the nuclear power station it is useful as we see as we said we have the useful or benefits of the nuclear energy and we have harmful of this type of energy so we have start with the useful or benefits of this energy if i have here the part of this one we have nuclear reactor here and we have here boiler and cooling towers or cooling system and here we have turbine and generator and national grid or what national grid it means what it means buildings factories anything of this if you make this what will happen here we have what we have the nuclear reactor that make heat energy or produce heat energy or produce the nuclear energy that makes heating makes the heat energy very very large amount of heat energy that makes this boiler and the water here change into water vapor but what after this we have what we have the this water vapor that makes or that move to operate the turbines these turbines it makes what it makes the generator or it makes makes moving or operation of the generator or the dynamos to make what to make the electric energy produced and this electric energy that move here from the generator to the national grid to what to the houses or kettles or many things of the devices or appliances that what that operate by electric energy and we have another thing that happened a part of this water vapor that move away from the reactor by cooling towers or cooling system and this cooling system it means what it makes the condensation of the water to move it again here to what to the boiler and it is cycle between what small cycle between cold towers and the boiler 
so the nuclear energy or nuclear power station that found here it means it is the low pressure steam is condensed back into water in the cooling towers the water is reused so here again last time we have number one we have the reactor okay that's what that nuclear vision in the uranium fuel it's what fuel roads released heat which is used to boil water and after that step two or stage number two the boiling water produces high pressure steam that force the force of moving steam turn the turbine and after that stage number three we have the turbine turn the generator and the electricity is produced so here we have after that we have number four the last one the low pressure of steam or the low pressure steam it's what it is condensed back into water in the cooling tower the water is reused again After that, we have the discovery of radioactivity. What's meant by radioactivity? It's what it is a type of activity. Or it's a thing that's happened by what? By an element by itself. Radioactivity is a type of radiation that produced by an element or radioactive element by without any things that used to make this action. This one, it means or this picture it's for what for the scientist or French scientist that's Henry Becquerel Henry Becquerel it's discovered the he discovered what discovered the emission of invisible rays from uranium that penetrated solid objects again it's very important sentence here in the exam or your exam you have a question state that the things or the discovery of the following scientists one of them Henry Pequerel and in the last unit we have Mendel what's the Mendel discover what's Henry Pequerel discover and we have in another things what's Ampere what's wh what happened by Ampere so here we have what we have a French scientist that Henry Pequerel that discovered that the emission of invisible rays from uni uranium uranium atom that penetrated solid objects not uranium that penetrate but the rays from uranium this one is penetrate the solid objects without stop without anything that stop you so here we have what we have this is the discovery of Henry Pequerel the first scientist that discovered the invisible rays from uranium especially uranium that what that penetrated solid objects here we have what we have the radioactivity phenomenon this phenomenon it's what it is spontaneous or continuous conversion of the atoms nuclei of the certain element again we have radioactivity phenomenon it's what it is spontaneous or continuous conversion of the atoms nuclei or nucleus of the atom at the certain elements after that like what like uranium which radiate the different different rays of particles okay or therefore the unstable nucleus becomes what becomes stable again we have what we have uranium uranium it is one of the elements that found in the nature or it's found in the in the earth's crust which radiate or each produced produces what produces the different rays or particles therefore the unstable nucleus becomes stable it loses its energy it loses its mass to make what to make itself more stable this is the shape of the uranium and this uranium it's found in the earth's crust like this in form of oxides in form of salt in many forms so it makes radiation by itself you see with me some some colors that found in uranium these colors that it's what it is a type of radiation that found in this element it is very very dangerous one so the uranium it's called what it's called the type of radioactive elements and here we have the fission reaction of uranium 
Fission reaction, it means what? It means uranium and its mass or mass number is 235. It's a very big one, yes. And we have one neutron, as we see before. We have neutron plus the uranium 235. What will happen? We have a fission. Uranium changed into 236 because I add one neutron to this uranium 235. And the uranium changed into 236 and after that we have a critical critical mass and critical volume to make what to make explosion or to make decaying or decomposition of this type of element or atom do what to make strontium 90 to make xenon 141 44 and we have two neutrons again one neutron that bump breed the bump breed the uranium 235 change it into uranium 236 to make what to make three things or three products we have strontium 90 we have xenon 144 and we have two neutrons after that this is a type of radioactive atom any radioactive atom it makes what it makes this shape the energy in form of wave or in a form of heat energy and we have radiation this radiation it means what it has what it has nothing I cannot see this radiation like gamma rays like we have what we have x-rays we have many things of these rays it is invisible rays and we have particles like what like neutrons like alpha particles like electrons that call the beta particles and so on after that what is the radioactive element what's meant by radioactive element radioactive element it means what it's a radioactive element it is an element which is unstable it is an unstable element or unstable nucleus because the number of neutrons is higher than the certain number again we have radioactive element it is an element which with with what with this and with an an unstable nucleus because the number of neutron in this nucleus it is more than or higher than the number of the neutrons in another what another elements or more than the number of protons inside the same atom by large number this is what this is radioactive element therefore it radiates the different types or different types of radiations and get converted in a stable element uranium in these things or uranium or thorium or plutonium or many things of these elements that called radioactive element they radiate different radiations or it emit different radiations get converted to the stable elements types of radioactivity we have number one we have the natural radioactivity natural radioactivity it's a spontaneous decay of a nucleus of the radioactive element in nature without any entrance of the human again we have it's what it is the spontaneous or continuous decay of the nuclei of a radioactive element in nature to what to achieve a more stable composition or to more to make the element more stable and after that we have artificial radioactivity what's meant by artificial radioactivity it is non-spontaneous radiation released during nuclear reaction non-spontaneous it means it needs another part or another particle that makes that makes bump breeding of the nucleus of a radioactive element so here we have a big difference between the artificial radioactivity and natural radioactivity Natural radioactivity, it is a spontaneous one. But here artificial, it is non-spontaneous. Radiation released during the nuclear reaction. It takes place in the nuclear reactors. The artificial one or artificial nuclear energy or artificial radioactivity, it takes place in the nuclear reactors. It can be controlled or save uses or in the nuclear bombs that cannot be controlled nuclear bomb cannot be controlled yes if this one or this bomb that that exploded in any place 
it damaged this city or the country and make it like what's like the earth's crust this is what this is the military uses like the military uses Milit here we have what we have a video about what about the military explosion by nuclear energy the earth's crust that make expansion like this make dangerous thing like this it makes explosion like this it damage all things if this one or this type of energy that produced by a bomb or by a nuclear experiment like this it means what it means massive destruction of the area it makes what like this here we have the moving down of the earth or this crust like this and we have destruction in the same time the chain reaction that we see here and here we have a city that damaged by what by the nuclear nuclear bomb like this so the nuclear bomb it makes what it makes some kind of energy it is appears like the sun or like the star like this it is very very high amount of heat energy that found here like this it is like the sun really it is like the sun so here we have this amount of heat energy damage what damage everything or any type of life in this country or this area why because it is called the massive destruction it has about 10 million degrees of heat energy 10 million degrees of the heat energy that's it is enough to to make death of all types of what of living organism in all parts of the of the planet earth so here we have what we have this is a an, an area that what that makes damaging or that damaged by what by the by the nuclear nuclear energy this house it makes these things why because we have what because we have the energy here it makes decreasing of the pressure around the house so the house it makes what it makes or it it makes explosion because it has the pressure more than the pressure outside it so here the massive destruction that happened here like this it is very very dangerous thing and we have the the extension of this one or this massive destruction it's extended for what four years so here this is what this is the shape of the the explosion that happened by this military explosion or by the bomb that called nuclear bomb it is like the mushroom mushroom shape like this